What is going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have Nepenthe Tsunkata and as you can see it's time to move them to a bigger biocoupler. Alright guys, so today I'm moving the Nepenthe Tsunkata to a new media in a bigger 32 ounces uh, jars. Now as a comparison, uh, here is the Nepenthe Tsunkata in the biocoupler. And here is in traditional tissue quarter uh, on a 16 ounce daily container. They were germinated at the same time and they were moved at the same time. And as you can see, the size difference is quite significant. Not only the plants in the biocoupler are bigger, but they also have a lot more plants. Uh, now, before I move the plants uh, to a new biocoupler, I want to check out this uh, video on basically it's a compilation of the whole entire process on the Nepenthe Stuncata. Okay, so here is where I sterilize the plants. This was back in August of 2020. It's been almost two years since uh, since then. So I use a, P a combination of PPM and MS uh, Media. If you want to check the entire video, that was one of the first this videos I made uh, here on the channel. Uh, the now here is uh, a few months after, uh, in June, basically almost a year after, the plants were still very small, the pentas grow very slowly, uh, and this is where I moved the plants to the well. biocoppers, uh, and you can see since then they have grown uh, quite significantly. Now after basically like two weeks grown, since I moved the plants the into the biocoppers, mm -hmm. I was able no, to no, see no, some um, uh, significantly in grow. They, they were a lot big, uh, they were starting to grow bigger, and they're starting to put uh, more shoots. Now, nearly a year after, uh, basically uh, on, on August of last year of 2021, I uh, moved the plants from the very, very small um, four ounce um, uh, jelly jars uh, into a little bit bigger eight ounce uh, um, mason jar. And they, after that, that, I changed the media and they were starting to grow a lot more since then. So you can see they were still the plants were still very very small uh, compared to what they are now. Basically, since I moved the plants from so those jars like into here, they have really grown significantly. Slowly move this around, and there are the plants. They look very nice. Hopefully, they they can propagate more. Um, I I mean I use the the same media for all these plants. Hopefully, they do well for the nepenthes. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to retire this uh, small. This was early this year, back in February, so today we are on July, so only only a few months uh, ago. And this is where I moved the plants from the 8 ounces to the 16 ounces, or what I have right here. So you can see the massive difference there, where the plants were not that big, they still, I still have a good multiplication, but you can tell the difference there of what I have right now, it's really significant. It, it has, uh, more than triple uh, the amount of plants and the size in the last uh, few months. I have a good amount of multiplication, so uh, I mean, I'm happy with it. I guess I can um, add more BA or like a more kinetic, uh, which is a cytokinin, to increase the amount of multiplication. But I'm really happy on the kind of the balance that I have of the amount of multiplication and the amount of good. Uh, essentially, I can basically take these plants out of, out of here if, if I want to place them into just sphagnum moss, and they will be they will be fine. Whatever I still want to propagate more plants. Okay, and this is where we are right now. This is where we have all the plants right now. Uh, so I think it is time to move the plants to a new uh, the new uh, flask. So. All right, so that was a very quick uh, two seconds time lapse. But anyways. Here on my left I have a Nepenthes tuncata, and here on my right I have another Nepenthes. This is Nepenthes uh, spatulata cross fusca cross apicia. Um, I put it here on this uh, uh, new biocoupler. Hopefully it starts to propagate more. This is actually the only plant that I have for this uh, species. But anyways, the, this is pretty much everything. I have a move the plant into the bigger biocoupler, the 32 ounces. Uh, it looks uh, it looks much better now. It has a lot more space to grow. Um, now at this point, I probably could, uh, could have taken some of these plants and then um, root in uh, sphagnum moss, but I still want to keep going. I still want to see um, how, how how many plants I can get. Like this is the maximum, the biggest size I can get, I can use on a biocoupler. So I want to see how how 
how big does these clumps get and how many plants I can get starting from the initial uh, two uh, small plants when I started uh, almost, uh, well, I, just over a month, uh, over a year ago. So this is how they look. They look, uh, they look great. Probably the media is going to, to turn uh, brown as the Nepenthes uh, Tuncata, or I, I'm not sure if all Nepenthes, but at least this Nepenthes Tuncata has some tenants on the media. That's why the media on the other biocoupler look uh, brown. Uh, it was not, it's not contamination, it's just uh, natural tenants that the plants have. Well, uh, pretty much that's everything for today. Hope you have enjoyed it. And keep, uh, keep an, uh, an update, especially on TikTok, where I'm, I'm doing like a small updates on some of the plants. Uh, where you can see how these plants uh, do in the future. Hope you have enjoyed it, and then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these Tissue Culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.